Alhamdulillah. Um, so part of the reasoning for it is there's tons of traffic up Little Kama Canyon in recent years because um, the Salt Lake Valley has been growing a lot. And so um, UDOT, Snowbird, and Alta um, came up with a solution and that solution was to do a gondola. Um, so from the base station up to Alta, which, so the base station is going to be it's not gonna be at the mouth, but I don't know if you guys know where like Lakai is, but it's gonna be around there. Um, so it'll take 55 minutes actually to get to Alta, and then if you were to drive, it's about 43 minutes. But I mean, like that's like what they what they think. Um, I mean, I don't know how accurate that's gonna be, but um, it's important to know too that um, Alta and Snowbird have had like a lot of say um, in like in control and with with the gondola. Um, so yeah, it's so yeah. It'll take for 55 minutes actually in the gondola, and then um, 43 minutes to drive. Um, so it was, I think it was like four million a year to actually operate it um, during the winter, compared to like 14 million if they were to do um, like just to do more like ski buses and stuff. Um, and also another thing is part of the reason for it is that um, with like avalanches, so like with like big powder days and stuff. Um, you can like still get up to like the resorts and stuff because um, I don't know there's been like like last season I think there was a couple avalanches that like kind of like closed off and so like everybody up there had like all this like great skiing and um, also it's supposed to improve air quality because there's supposed to be less cars um, so the negative impacts is that it's gonna be um, I mean I don't know I think it's gonna be really ugly um, and it's also expensive. It's going to cost five hundred fifty million dollars, and it's not um, really sure where this money is actually going to come from, because they're thinking taxes and stuff. But I mean, where's where are they going to take the the money from? You know, because they um, they could they like they're going to be taking it from other resources that we use, and um, also they're going to it's going to be getting rid of some boulders for bouldering. Um, so. I for, I'm not sure which one it is, but um, there's one of them that um, like they can't like relocate it or anything. Like it's gonna be like gone. Um, there's also gonna be some traffic delays from construction, and um, this is also gonna like this isn't gonna be like a like super fast project. Like this is gonna take years to to actually do. Um, there's gonna be a possible decrease in water quality from construction, and then um, it's also resort access, and so. Um, it's like, I don't know, they're not gonna operate it in the summer, and so you're not gonna be able to like, I don't know, go explore different parts of the canyon and like backcountry skiing and stuff. There's some good stuff, but um, it's only gonna be going to Snowbird and Alta. Um, so they're gonna be, yeah, uh, like I said earlier, there's gonna be a lot of funding that they're gonna deal with, um, and then um, public opinion. Uh, like if you drive up on Wasatch, you can see a lot of the signs that say like 80% of Utahns opposed to the gondola. Um, and it's like, I don't know, if you ask people, it's like, what are your opinions on the gondola? It's like, people don't like the gondola. Um, there's like been protests and like, this isn't like, I mean, it's not even confirmed. Like this is just an idea and there's already like so much backlash about it. And then also local politicians, um, I think representative Galen Benium, um, has like called for like an investigation of UDOT. Um, and they're trying to thinking about passing some laws to try to prevent this. Um, so yeah, personal opinion, I don't know, I think the gondola is stupid, it's, um, I don't know, it's going to take a lot of time to build it, it's um, only going to, like, the only, like, outdoor entities, like, consulted were Snowbird and Alta, and they're the only ones that actually stand to benefit from the gondola, um, it's, I don't know, I just don't think that it's, like, I think it's more of a novel idea, and I think there's better alternatives that won't, um, like impact the environment as much. Um, so yeah, and then these are my work cited.